So I'm about to create a SEO friendly blog article using Elementor for one of my clients and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to create a tutorial on how you can do this too. So here I have my SEO you know, written article or target keywords, California meth addiction treatment. Uh, I have the page created on here, um, just the headline put in here. And um, what you're going to first and do is make sure you have Elementor installed. Uh, once you do, you can just click Edit with Elementor once you've created a new page. And then once, once we're loaded here, it basically gives us this blank canvas. Now what you could do is just preload one of your existing templates So we can say, you know, uh, these are some of the created ones that I've already created. Um, nice page template for instance. I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch but I want to show you how simple it is to load um, and just edit. So here I have uh, an already built out page and then what I could do is just edit any of this text for the new article that I'm going to create. For the sake of this we're going to be starting completely from scratch. So the very first thing that I like to do is we're going to create your different sections here so I'm going to do it with a one space and we're going to add our heading text in here for our article. Go over here, add a header in, and then this is our header. And then we can also do stuff like add a background to this. If you click style, click on classic background type, and then we might want to add. I don't think anything's going to come in here for math, but maybe we get drugs or something. Oh, see, okay, so there is some. There is some pictures that we could use. Alright, so let's use this guy. Still high quality, but don't take as much space up. Okay, once that's loading, we're going to add in our alt text here. California Treatment. Okay, so we have our background image there, and then we might do... Um, maybe we can expand this by going over... Yeah. That's what I wanted. Increase the margin here, increase the margin there. Now let's put this at 50 for each. Okay, and then we can go back to style and we can adjust the position so that, you know, we get something that eludes without being too triggering. Center, center. It might be too triggering, but um, let's see what we can do. We can do background overlay, and then we can add, you know, a color in there and bring the transparency up and down. So maybe we do something like that. Okay, and then maybe we make this. We make this our H1 tag. We center it. We make the text color white so it pops a little bit more. And then we can add a button in here. Copy this phone number link. Center that as well. And we can make it say, call now for help. We might want to put an icon in here, like a phone icon. Okay, and then type. These are just different um, colors. Probably want to make this large as well. Okay, so now we have a nice, a nice header to start. Now, as we move down, we want to basically add all of this text on there and make it look as friendly, as user friendly as possible. So I'm going to create a new section here, and I like to typically start um, my section with two two main sections here like this. We're going to add in our text editor. We're going to throw our first paragraph in here. Copy this. Paste over here. And then I like to um, make my text black. Change the typography to size 18. And then we can add something like a video in here if we want to add a YouTube video. Okay, and then 
again, so I'd probably go over to our YouTube channel on this. Put this URL in there. Before patient posts, our marketing was all over the place. Since I so we have something like that. And then I'm just going to continue this paragraph here. I'm going to duplicate this text so that I don't have to add those settings again. And paste in my second paragraph. Okay. We want to make sure that we have our internal links as well. So we have, you know, external and internal links. Um, this is a um, national survey that I got the information to. It's important to have both internal and external links. And then down here, we have our brand name linked to the home page here as well. Okay. And then I'll add a call to another call to action here. We'll make that from scratch. I'll add a, a one thing here. I'm going to duplicate this button up here, drag this in here, and then let's make a nice uh, background template for this gradient instead. Color one to color black. Kind of the brand colors there. And then maybe we put a header above here as well. Contact us 24-7. We'll make this white to pop. center that as well and now we can repurpose this entire call to action section so we can you know duplicate this again and then um, you know have it later on so we can add another paragraph in between here and then move on to our next section so addiction statistics we'll add in our another header in here and everything aside from the top one here, you want as H2 tags. I'm going to change the color on this to black. And then below, I'm going to add, I'm going to add in two here, two sections like this. I'm going to take this information here. I'm going to put in text editor over here. Uh, actually, I'm going to delete that, copy this, save on workflow time, pull this drag and drop over here, and this is all, you know, drag and drop editor, pretty simple stuff. Okay, now I'm going to put an image in here, and then maybe we do a helping hand type thing, or we do this nice picture of one of our doctors. And then we do our target keyword in here. Addiction treatment. We insert that so we have a nice section that looks like this. Okay, then we move on to the next paragraph. And we do another one section here. Let's duplicate this so I don't have to change the color again. And I can just change the headline, duplicate this, drag it right in there, and then we take our next paragraph like this. And then for these next um, little list items that we have on here, we might want to do something fun, like we might want to do... Let's see how many I have on here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we might want to do uh, a row of four, something like that. And then we might want to do one of these other cool plugins over here. Let's see which one. What's Icon Box look like? Oops, come on now. 
Okay, so maybe we do something like this. And then maybe we put this check mark in there. And then we change this heading to sudden erratic behavior. And we get rid of that. So we can do something like this. But let's change the colors up so this looks a little bit nicer. Primary color, we might make green, and then on the content, the text color, the title color, we might make this just black like that. And then we can just duplicate all of these and drag them over. Something like that. Duplicate all of these, and now we can add all eight of our. So then we move on to our next section down here. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy this whole section because ease of convenience there. And drag that in there like that. And get rid of that extra section there. And sometimes I like to add a spacer in here as well. Maybe drag this down to like 25, something like that. Okay. Maybe add in our paragraph. We add all these in, like so. Maybe we make these bold. Why not? Maybe we. That's probably fine. Okay, then maybe we copy this again. Um, and then maybe we make a second section here. We drag this in. And we do that. And then we paste this information in over here. And then this would be a good area to add in, like a Pinterest image or something like that. So we might add a temporary one until I create an image for this. Um, do I have any of my Pinterest images in here? You know, something like this one. We might, we might do that. Maybe we bring it down a little bit so it kind of looks pretty even. Something like that. Looking good. Okay, maybe we have, you know, okay, this will be replaced with a custom image. Maybe we uh, duplicate this whole section again, bring it down below it, we change this out to the new one. Put in this text in there, in this section. Let's copy this whole call to action again. You can never have too many calls to action. You want to make it as easy as possible for your customers to contact you. We have our last section down here. Okay. So maybe we. Duplicate this section again. We put this down below it. And then maybe instead of that image, we put a form down here. Contact us form. 
We get rid of this image. We copy this. We duplicate this headline. Whoops. All right, so let's put, we got to put a single new widget in there. We drag that header there. We put our new one there. Maybe this one. Eh, that's fine. Okay, and then we drag this other paragraph in. We paste that. Maybe we make this form a little bigger. Maybe we split this giant block of text into two paragraphs. And then we might want to internally link more. So like opioid addiction treatment. I know I had opioids on here somewhere use prescription opioids so we might want to use this as an opportunity to link to that abused link into that okay save our draft make sure we look good on mobile <laughs> Looks pretty good. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Maybe we swap the form and the text so that they are just so that the text is displayed first. Okay, we save the draft there again. So now we have a fully optimized page created on Elementor from scratch that's optimized for our target keyword. We have our header here. We have images added with specific alt text. We have a user-friendly layout. And let's see what the final going to look like this. We're going to get rid of this one afterwards. Here's our, our page. We can remove this, hide, or keep it up. We have a fully built out page.